uh, cross here, and uh, I thought that uh, I thought on the ball break, the ball break like two weeks before final. Uh, with this whole week off, I thought I'd just, uh, do a little something fun. Of course, in gameplay, yeah, I'm gonna try to start doing this. Thought it'll be, I thought it'll be pretty cool. Just to put some, just put some quick little videos out there. Um, welcome to Magic Duels. It, yeah, I'm an avid follower and of, of Magic the Gathering. It's really, really fun card game. Spent hours playing games with friends at school, and I uh, decided to pick up their latest installment of their annual video game thing that they do. Uh, the recent release of the Battle for Zendikar update for the game, uh, that happened a couple of days ago, or sometime last week. And it hasn't hit console yet, which makes me kind of sad, because that's where all my progress is. So now I jumped into this today, and basically had to start from scratch. It's kind of sad. But, I figure we might as well just go through it together. Uh, I already did the Battle for Zendikar story, and the original uh, story for Gideon, but there's still four more Origins tales to go through. So, I guess we'll just run down the line. Jump on in here. Give it a load. There we go. Let's go down the line. We'll go ahead with Jace Bellerin. Alright. Jace is the iconic blue planeswalker. He's pretty much been the face of magic for years now. Seriously, Wizards is more or less just in love with this guy. But, good to see him. He's just a little kid, hanging out. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and jump into his first duel. You often seek the solitude afforded by the apex of the mage ring. It's the only place where the can't reach you and bombard your mind. Usually it's quiet here, but not today. Great, so we got the Mage Ring Bullies. <sighs> How much fun. If this thing will load, we can actually... <laughs> now, okay, I, I heard there was a lot of... Uh, Difficulty with Jace's story mainly because it's he, he he's trying to play a control deck, but a lot of decks in this campaign are very aggressive, so it's really really difficult to to, to get the to get the plan rolling. But uh, let's see what they give us. If it can load. The spinning circle of doom. Whereas people call it the, the spinning donut. My frame rate is chugging. Come on, game, you can do it. I guess I could just pause this. I'll get back to you when the game actually starts up. Or, I don't know. Alright. I think we're good now. Ah. Computer, stop being slow.
I think we got a game. Oh cool, we go first. Alright, show us what you got. This hand is weak. Earliest drop is a four drop, and only three lands. Yeah, we'll throw this one away. All right, this is a bit better. Uh, turn two, Azure Mage. Hopefully, turn three, Phantasm or Warrior. I think we can go with this. Turn one, Island. And Legacy, that's scoop worthy. Turn one mountain. Okay, cool. No turn one play. Okay, second Azure Mage is nice. Play Mage. Pass the turn. We're gonna get first blood. We're gonna send this guy on in. Or I guess that's a lady, I'm not sure. This whole gender thing. Kind of weird for me. And I guess let's drop another Azure Mage. Not like we're holding up counter spell mana. What do we got? Reckless Brute, attacks each turn in Fable. Uh, sure, I'll Cloudy throw my 2 1 in front of that. Actually, we're winning, we're winning that damage race. You know, that's fine. We could throw the 2 1 in front of it later if we really need to. Oh, cool, third land. Uh, I guess I'll put on the Phantom Warrior. The Unblockable can be really helpful. Third one in. Get that extra four damage in. I see I'm a little hesitant about uh, the, the dragons I have in hand. Yeah, they're 5-5s five with flying, which can be really, really good. But, uh, the fact that we're going against mono red means that any little burn spell they they, they can drop, and it'll, they'll, they'll just tear through our dragons so fast. Like, just, just shock. Single mana spells can wreck our day. Okay, so we got the fourth mana. I mean, we can try though. Let me see how see how computer blocks here. Okay, that's good. That's good. Can't really handle that fire breathing. Don't have to burn spell. Moving to combat. See if we can finally kill this thing. Okay, looks like we got it. That's going very well. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'll swing on in here. And no need to drop the second dragon. We already have lethal on board. 
Well, for next turn anyway. Yeah. So we'll just pass it back. Uh, we'll draw the car off of the Azure Mage at this opponent's end step. Ah, there it is. Knew they had a dragon of their own at some point. Nah, hold on. Well, stop right there, buddy. Okay, that works. I think I found out what this deck's game plan is. It's more of a tempo build, especially with stuff like the Void Mage. Unsummon on a body. Seems really good. We'll just pop that back in your hand. I mean, I could just move to attacks and just throw in the unblockable guy in front of it. Yes, I would love to use that ability. But that's a bit more fun. Tap the ball. And that'll do it for game one. So there we go. The hardest, uh, the apparently hardest fight in the game is done with. We did it. We did the thing. Woo, 10 gold. Yeah. Got a right. I'm building this game to get, to, to, to get more cards. It's a lot worse than Hearthstone in that regard. I'll, I'll tell you that. Continue? Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. I might actually be able to get this. Cool. That works. Ah, go away, achievement. I'm trying to click next. There we go. Every change of after and the kitchen. Yep. I, yep. I did that thing too. <laughs> Come on, game. Here's a little bit a still image with some words. At least his music's pretty cool. There we go. Enraged by your defiance, the bullies throw you off the ring. You desperately cling to the edge, and before you know what's happening, you telepathically force one of the bullies to save your life. You've won the fight, but the danger of your abilities... You, ah, I can't word the words are right in front of me. You've won the fight, but the danger your abilities pose has become painfully apparent. So yeah, Jace is kind of just... Eh. He's that kid. He's the loner kid. Oh well. Alright, uh, I guess that would be a good wrap-up for this first little recording. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to do these as often as I can. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it like a super regular thing, but yeah, just throw up a little video again here and there. So, I'll see you guys next time for the second game. Until then, peace! Now oh, I can just actually close out this recording. <laughs>